Community Grapevine. Every Monday, I like to shine the light on an individual who is changing minds here in the Napa Valley and doing great things. I'm excited to welcome Greg to the studio. How are you today, Greg? I'm doing very well. Thank you very much for having me. Fantastic. And Greg, you are with the Boys and Girls Club of the Napa Valley. Yeah, that's correct. So tell us what the Boys and Girls Club is doing this summer. So the Boys and Girls Club of Napa Valley serves both the Napa, the city of Napa, and then also the city of American Canyon. In a typical year, we have about 1,400 kids a day that come to us every day, and we do a whole slew of activities and engagement with them, everything from art to sports to all kinds of stuff. 1,400 kids. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, I think we've talked on the phone before in January. I just want to give you a huge shout out and a huge thank you because my kids used to go to the clubhouse, but now let's just say they're off site at a different location. <laughs> Location, and they absolutely love the activities and love the Boys and Girls Club. So I'm so grateful that not only do you have the clubhouse, but you have other locations as well. Yeah, we're really excited because right now we're, lo- we're operating out of two school sites here in Napa and American Canyon in addition to our two clubhouses. And it more and more, as the conversation has become about recovery as opposed to mitigation, we're seeing the club wholesome activities really come bleed through the day. Whereas before we had to kind of adjust to you know how we did things in the time of COVID, now we can start relaxing and get back to good natured fun and engagement and you know disguised learning. And that's exactly what they feel like. I mean, they love going. Last week it started at 8.30 and I was like, we could sleep in kids. And my son was like, no, we have to be there on time, mom. It's so much fun. So first want to give you a thank you for what you guys are doing for our community because my family absolutely depend on the Boys and Girls Club or working parents, but just also for our sanity. <laughs> <laughs> to be able to get them out and getting them doing things, right? Because they've been home for so long. Well, yeah, we're blessed that our, a lot of our staff, including myself, you know, we don't even really see this as work. We, we love what we do, and we get a lot from the joy of working directly with kids. So. And you have an event coming up, and so actually this is going to be launching this weekend, right? On Friday, when does it launch? Yeah, actually, it's live now. Oh, uh, it's okay. called the Ungala. It's a digital auction. Got about 30 auction lots on it, and we're really excited to see how it goes. So this is, I don't remember you guys ever doing anything like this before. Yeah, it's a new event. Uh, Before we used to do something called the Kentucky Derby, and uh, we took 2020 to revitalize and change things up, and uh, we're really excited with the the current format. Okay, so tell us about the current format. What do do we gotta do? How do people find out about it? So what you need to do is go to www.theungala.org. And that will get you right onto our page. We've got a whole catalog of items you can go through and pick through. Everything from flying over the valley in hot air balloons and ending at rut with wine to going to France for, oh. for a weekend. Oh, okay. So yeah, there's there's a ton of really incredible items there. So this is an ungala, so I don't have to get dressed up. I don't have to wear high heels. I can bid online. Yep. Stay at home. Have yourself a burrito in your sweats if you'd like. It's all good. <laughs> You know, I was really thankful you guys did the crab feet in January, right? And that was actually really nice. We had fun. It was just the kids had never had gone with me. Obviously, I didn't take them before, but we had fun doing it at home. You know, and that's now with this Delta variant, maybe that's the right thing that we need to do. Well, you know, it was also one of the most successful crab feeds we'd ever had. And I think the message there is that we're also communicating directly to our kids that they have value, right? So when you have a really successful event, that turns into a better member experience. We use everything as we go to the day to day with kids to make sure that they understand they're part of a community of care. Oh, I, again, I'm doing a heart to you. I am so thankful for everything you do at the Boys and Girls Club. You are always welcome on the show to promote what you guys are doing because 1,400 kids you are servicing in that daily. That's huge. Well, just to clarify, so we, we have a sister club in the Up Valley, and they handle St. Helene and Calistoga. We only serve Napa and American Canyon, but even so, that's a very large footprint of kids. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you for that clarification. So 1,400, that's uh, American Canyon and Napa. Correct. Yeah. Wow. Wow, yeah. that's it's amazing. Any other final words? Or how can people find out more information about Boys and Girls Club? Oh, please visit our website. We just launched a brand new website. It's beautiful. We're really proud of it. It's called uh, www.begreatnv.org. And it's got a lot of great videos and testimonials from the kids. I'm Greg. Thank you again for everything that you're doing for our community. Thank you. Community Grapevine.